Do you ever get that feeling like you're surrounded by automatons, people who merely mimic life, without really living it? Sheeple, as they may be called, are otherwise ordinary folks who have adapted particularly well to the workforce or consumer or obedience training agenda. They've been taught to be docile, foolish, and easily led. They're particularly keen at following mainstream narratives and adapting to groupthink and group behaviors. Almost criminally uninformed at times, they are predictable, obedient, gullible, and uninquisitive, always doing their part to sustain the cultural power dynamic, by policing and enslaving themselves, and staying focused on whatever tasks have been given them. The primary rewards for their acquiescence being comfort and the illusion of security. Sheeple are everywhere, to be sure, but a tremendous counter-movement is rising in opposition to this engineered madness. The amount of people waking up is truly inspiring, and a big part of this transformation is a growing awareness of just how much of what we do and what we think is not actual lie born of original thought, but rather instructed by cultural programs scripted by industry and the psychopaths at the helm of the world. Waking up from this is a certainty, once awareness of it kicks in. Here are three things that sheeple do that you don't have to. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Like a vampire who must be invited to gain entrance into the home of his victim, much of the Matrix is an invitation to indulge in self-destruction. It's voluntary in so many ways. Its traps are devised of appeals to ego, to taste buds, to pleasure, and to our want of convenience and instant gratification. Nothing we can't live without. It sells things that taste sweet, at first, but ultimately prove impossible to quit, and even more impossible to pay for. Sheeple can't say no, even when they know they are doing harm to themselves. They will consume whatever is presented to them, whatever is waved in their face the most frequently and the most fervently, consequences be damned. Sabotaging their own physical and mental health for the thrill of convenience and addiction to overstimulation, sheeple will fall for just about anything. They'll happily follow their taste buds all the way to the doctor's office, and gleefully sign credit card receipts until they're totally sunken in debt. But you don't have to do any of this. You don't have to work jobs you hate, you don't have to watch television every night in a drooling daze. You simply don't have to treat your body and mind with as much contempt as the controllers do. Your life is precious, and worth protecting in every way possible. Jesse Scott said. People are sheep. TV is the shepherd. It's difficult to know sometimes if art is imitating life or if life is imitating art, but this is the second century of the self, and mass media has brought about some uncanny opportunities to make a big deal out of yourself and take yourself way too seriously. As many people do. Who are those people who camp out at retail stores for Black Friday deals, then beat and trample each other when the doors open? Who are these people who get so enraged by sports wins and losses that they burn their own communities to the ground? Who are these innumerable people in necties committing their lives to filling the corporate mold? The list goes on and on. Self-image is used against us to confuse us and misdirect us. We're fed the illusion that we need to have things or be a part of things in order to feel complete, in order to feel secure, in order to be happy and worry-free. We're taught from early on that there is safety and security and assimilation, comfort in sticking to you place in the group. Discomfort and consequence in rocking the boat. Sheeple chase illusions and conform to scripts and fully devoting themselves to playing their part. Even if it means scuttling their humanity along the way. 
None of this actually matters of course, because we are all multi-dimensional beings, locked into into a dense material body for some short period of time on this suffering but breathtakingly beautiful world. When we reawaken to who we truly are, the scripts disappear, and there is no longer a need to conform in this way, or any way. We are free to be whatever we want and whatever we need to be in order to survive and thrive in the Matrix. Anthony St. Martin wrote in his book, We are not supposed to all be the same, feel the same, think the same, and believe the same. The key to continued expansion of our universe lies in diversity, not in conformity and coercion. Conventionality is the death of creation. Helplessness and deference to authority are encouraged by our education system, our authority, and our corporate overlords, and we are increasingly told to give up our personal power and dignity to the policy makers and phony authority figures who govern us. Sheeple relinquish their sovereignty without objection, happily deferring to authority, if it means less responsibility for them. They support causes they don't understand, and they participate in riots they have no business being involved in. They know nothing of their legal or natural rights, and even less of the courage it takes to exercise them. Along for the ride, as useful as idiots, sheeple prefer the dynamic of being told what to do. The disempowerment game is about creating dependency on authority, on corporations, and on peers for acceptance and approval, while creating supporting actors for the players who are influencing our world. It's also about warping people's sense of responsibility, so that the crimes of authority and corporations can more easily go unpunished. Take the The Milgram experiment of the 1960s as an example, which demonstrated how people are naturally inclined to permit the torture of other human beings, so long as a so-called authority figure is in charge and is accepting responsibility. The sheeple are those who would watch others being assaulted, and instead of helping them, only record them with their smartphones. A costume and a paycheck do not give one human being special rights over another, except in the Matrix, where sheeple have been trained to submit to and obey anyone in a color-coordinated uniform with a badge and a walkie talkie Sheeple are happy to participate in these disempowerment games and defer their responsibility to others, but, all it takes is a simple, confident, no, to change the dynamic in any relationship. We truly do not have to forfeit our personal sovereignty and defer to phony authority. David Harris said. It's a sad and stupid thing, to have to proclaim yourself a revolutionary, just to be a decent man. The human spirit is far more powerful and determined than any social engineering or brainwashing program. It is simply unconfinable to these spiritually debilitating prisons. Merely being aware of this is enough to break the habit of mental slavery, and reveal a more truthful perspective on life and the ways in which the dehumanized systems in our world are organized against us. It takes one to know one, and after waking up from contemporary consciousness, our world looks much differently than it ever had before, and it's easy to see sheeple for what they are. And it's easier to be yourself, and not just another member of the herd. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.